Good day, everybody. We've got a cool trait for you guys. We are actually going to be taking you on, or I'm going to be taking you on a couple ride-alongs, including this one right now. And we're going to talk about dents on the road. Dents on the road. I love dents on the road. That's how I built my business. That's how most of you have built your business. Some of you have transitioned into a shop and do mobile. I love what I do. And one of these videos that you're going to see is, is you're going to see a combination. You know, the latest cold glue and uh, the tools we're using to get this dent out and without chewing it up because it's very easy to chew it up. It's also very easy to underestimate a dent like this. Uh, this dent, this main dent was very, it was kind of a, a hand sized dent, but some of you guys would have probably said, oh, I could have took a suction cup to that, or maybe I'll just take some super tabs to it and just glue the hell out of it, glue pole. Okay, you guys, we are here working on this dent. Now, it looks like, you know, you could just probably use your slide hammer and yank it, but very carefully, we, uh, we don't want to just yank. We actually want to, um, we're going to use some cola fria, which John is getting ready. He's stretching it out to get it nice and warm and sticky. The more he pulls that, the stickier and the warmer that warms up and gets nice and really tacky to get a good grip on here. But once it gets that warmed up by pulling it and stretching it, then he's going to heat up the panel, especially in the corners of this dent. Um, you don't want to just cold pull it because you could shock the, the metal or the paint and you could possibly crack it and you don't want to do that. So that's why we're going to use a heat gun, warm that up and get most of the, the, the meat out. And then we'll go ahead and pick whatever tool we're going to get, um, after that. But if you look closely, uh, the, the panel separated away from the headlight and it's kind of not connected. The clips are kind of off a little bit. So hopefully when we pull it, it'll go, it'll line back in. I'm going to have him work from outside in because this is where the softest area, we're going to move some of that metal back towards the deepest area. We don't want to try to pull the, the deepest area first because you shock the metal, okay? So let's, let's start out right there, John. You want to come around this side if you want. Yeah, you're good with that. Okay. Good, you can see. Now, the reason why it's leaving residue is because we heat it up really, really a lot, but it's, if that residue will come off. You can see a good chunk of that dent, probably about three or four inches came up already. So go ahead and push that. Let me pull that. And look, it went back in. Now it went back into place. Pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna get a different shot of that. And John's gonna look at, that's why we have them set up from outside to go in because we're letting this do the work for it, pushing the metal back into the seam right here. If you tried to pull the seam first, it might've reversed and you might've cracked paint or lock pressure. So this is so far so good, it's coming out. Let me, a little bit, yeah, right there. You starting at a little bit below the corner. Okay, so we've got uh, a flat bar. This flat bar is made from PDR Finesse. This is something I gave John a while ago. It's, it's a beast. It's, uh, it's very heavy, uh, it's wide, it's super flat, and uh, it's good. How do you like it so far, John? Oh, I love it. This thing pushes metal like none other when I need it to. And what kind of tip are you using? This is the uh, Dentcraft H32 with uh -huh. the red cap. Yeah. Uh, it's good for pushing a lot of uh, the, the, the real low stuff, and then you, you go in with the, uh, what is it, the H4 or the... the R4? Or the R4 to yeah. get that detail. Yeah, nice and then and you'll soft. switch, he'll probably switch to a, like a plastic sharper tool tip and um and work it out but he's going to gain leverage right off that tire and really get some good push power i don't think this this tool doesn't really this dent doesn't really need a huge amount of power because it's a honda but the leverage is awesome 
So it allows you control. to spread more metal without poking or pocking the the, the paint. So go ahead and pull that liner back. Pull the liner back. Okay. All right. Good. Slips that tool in there. Good. Now I want you guys to take a look right here. You see that split? That's where I want John to push. Now John knows what he's doing for a long time, but that's what I'm trying to show you of how he's looking at the dent, how he's attacking the dent and he's starting from the bottom and he works up towards the split and he brings that together. So now he's actually using a, a sharp tip tool from PDR Finesse called uh, the number 51, in case you guys are wondering. And hold it just like that, John, because I'm actually going to show the length of this. Now you can see that there's a little bit of a, oops, I get a, let me just, a little bit of a crown. So that, you got... You got a plastic, like a midpoint or a, or midpoint. a midpoint with a little bit of tape on there. Put it closer to To see the complete tutorial and videos like this, please visit denttrainer.com. Thank you.